Okay, and then in important and interesting information. What is balancing axle and shafts in car engine and what is those parts purpose? And here I have in here really interesting and extremely high quality engine and this is Toyota's 2.2 liter four cylinder gasoline engine from this 1990 to 2000 years to those early earlier years in 2000 years and in that engine what is like masterpiece masterpiece engine when we when we take that oil sump away what is in here when we take that oil sump in that way away we can see that there is this masterpiece this this silver area this is balance and balance axle package and let's go to look those closers because they are they looks so nice they are so and there is first axle in here and of course you might think that what is this there is two balance axles there is first one and second in here and what is this purpose and in that area we can see easily one and two balance axles and what is this purpose that why we have these balance axles in here this area is this balance axle shaft and then when I rotate carefully this camshaft in here in that way look these parts moves it's just they are same synchro synchro in like this cam crankshaft this is crankshaft look these parts moves nicely when we go to look when we take a little bit closer you you can see that when you look that hole and when I move that part a little bit these parts moves in, in that way okay okay and what is this system's purpose this purpose is that when we have these balance axles in our engines and there is by the way in a very nice 2.2 and 2.2 those markings that they make this our engines uh, running more smoothly more smoothly and there is no there is not so much vibrations and I can say that this is really true because this Toyota's 2.2 liter engine it is extremely smooth running engine and it is also very powerful and it takes revs a lot and that's this package is in here it takes our car like premium car and look when these parts are made by Toyota there is now only 300,000 miles in this package and everything is working like well and in kilometers if you live like in England there is 450,000 kilometers and this is a lot of mileage in any any car in world but this is Toyota's masterpiece and look what 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 this what it means if I took away this balance shafts I have a friend who drive with this Volkswagen Audi car and he he said to me that hey take right away these uh, balance axles away and then you have some horsepower more and then your your engine vibrates like some some normal engine this is the only thing that this balance axle, balance axles and shafts they consume a couple of horsepower but I don't recommend that we take those parts away because in there is now 
this 130 four horsepower and if I took those away then I have 136 horsepower and it is not so big big uh, change okay and then we can take of course this if we need to adjust that or we need to re replace that part there is normal bolts and it is easy to remove and here we can see also this oil stick measurement stick in here in that area. okay and there is then this oil pump sump in here okay okay that kind of balance axles information and this is really really interesting art modern design art is this part if we are like in our our mine room in our home we can install that part this balance access system in this table and look that look how modern art we have in here in here table okay thank you okay and then i am planning to take this balance axel and shafts away and for that job i need socket what size is one four like 14 and then a little bit longer bar and then i insert my tool in here and then i open this box in that way good this is first one and then second and this is rotation and then third one and in that another area we have similar bolts one two and three good and then i rotate then i take all of these these bolts away so that i rotate my tool that way and then i take that first first bolt it is it looks like that and then then i take this second tool also away but now i i am a little bit lazy and i use my air gun because it is 10 times faster okay let's look first one second and then third one and fourth one and, and all are free and then this is nice okay and then i take this my bolts away all of these six bolts five is left and, and now if everything is fine this part should now open if i am right okay and this is like this toyota way and now now this my parts start to move but please keep those in same position and there is also this idea that how this balance shaft works there is feel like gear in here but moves in same way like this crankshaft and then when i rotate this my part there is connection gear in here what takes contact in here and then this palace shaft moves and this part belongs in here and there was similar adjusting part in here remember two two of those and there is this balance shaft and then we can go to look that closer okay and then i show that how we can disassemble this balance shaft uh, this uh, this balance shaft system and there is that kind of bolts what keeps it in position and 
there is displayed and now I have open one of those and look there is 12 corners and that's we need the specific socket where is 12 corners in inside look look it goes in that way and if we are using the standard six corners bolt it don't work because there is only six corners in here and here is 12 okay and then I inserted my tool in there and let's look that can I open that my socket and, and this looks like to be this looks like to be quite tight but if I insert that in a little bit in that position and then I carefully hit that Okay, and this looks like to be quite tight, and that's I use my air gun next, because sometimes otherwise I need to e e insert that in some locking position. Okay, let's look. Okay, and now now this bolt opens. And then, then I open all of these rest bolts and then we look at what is there inside because it must be really interesting. Okay, good. Okay, and now I am opening these bolts. Look. Okay, good. Good. And now all of these bolts, what keeps this balance soft in position, they are like free. And then I can take this all bolts out that way. There is nine bolts. Nine bolts. And there is those small metallic plates. Look. All of these are metallic plates. Okay, and now this cover is free and then if I lift that up, I I I I should could open that part because this is Toyota's part, and normally Toyota's parts opens easily. Okay, good. And there is, there is then this another position. And look, there are bearings, bearing plates in there. Very high quality. This is Toyota's way. Small bearing plates in there. This is cool. And then, when we look in closer, you can see that hey, there are those balance shafts, and they move, moves in same speed in that way. And this is really, and there is this look, there is this whole, whole area, and these are like in half, half of this shaft is like empty, look, and then another part is like heavy. It is always it right to go in this down position. Interesting. There are those areas, and this is like in not 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 plate system. It always goes so that this heavier part, that one, goes in down. Look. Okay. Interesting. And there are those bearing plates, and this engineering is. Really superb, really superb engineer. Okay, and now when we test that, I can say that this, this balance shafts works great. And then I install this bearing plate back, back in there, and then I install this my system back. In that way, and then I I insert this locking 
bolts back and then then I can assemble that system. Okay, and then another part we had in here only that feel in that another side. Okay, and very interesting part. And thank you for watching that video.